centuries, chiropractic therapy, also called spinal manipulation, has been considered an alternative, even controversial treatment for back pain. But a new report says this therapy may be just as effective as pain medication for the 80% of you living with bad backs. And for the first time on the Dr. Oz Show, my assistant of the day will be getting her back adjusted. You guys all ready for that? All right, so I gotta pick my assistant of the day to get her back adjusted. And it is, are you all ready? Yeah. All right, the first assistant of the day to ever have her back adjusted on the Dr. Oz Show is named Krista in seat 113. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Great to see you. So let me see your back. Turn around for a second. Okay. So how, how's your back? When was the last time you had back pain? A um, couple of days ago, actually. Oh. Yeah. Have you had it frequently? Um, I get it, I think probably from sleeping bad. And what do you do about when you have it? Hmm. Suffer. Suffer. <laughs> That's what women do with back pain. I'm telling you, and I'm seeing this over and over again. You suffer. Yeah. So, have you ever had a chiropractic manipulation? I have. You once. have? Yes, once. Well, you know what? You're not alone. 22 okay. million Americans have chiropractic visits annually. It's a lot. But that means that a lot of Americans haven't been to a chiropractor. Which means there's some sentiment about whether this is legitimate mm -hmm. or not. Right? So, we're going to talk about that today. The okay. word chiropractic comes from the Greek. It means done by hand. So they manipulate by hand. And it's pretty straightforward how it works. You, you apply force in a very controlled way to adjust spinal structures, and then that hopefully restores some mobility. And so it gets you balanced in where you're gonna go. Mm -hmm. but I'm not a chiropractic, so I've got one who's gonna visit with you in a second, but okay. I'm gonna first show you what might happen that prompts a chiropractic visit. Okay. Okay, just stand right over here. Okay. Right over there. Okay, this is your spine. That's why it's called the spine, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna hold your head and pretend you're sleeping because you get your pain when you're sleeping, right? Yeah. Go ahead and twist the end here. Twist it, yeah, twist it towards you. Yeah, twist it towards you. Either way. And twist it more. Good. Keep going. Twist it, twist it. And eventually. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right? All of a sudden, wow. it's nighttime and you're not comfortable because you're pumbling all over the place. This is what happens to our spines. A little bit of misalignment takes all the forces we lean over and lift up the kids, get the groceries, mm -hmm. lean back, sleep the wrong way in our bed. And that multiplies the discomfort that we have. So come on over here. Okay. This is the vertebral column. Okay? This is the vertebral bodies. This is the bony structures that make up our yeah. spine. And these are the little discs, these purple structures here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and lift up this top part together with me. Lift it up together and then twist it. And you see how it's dipped out of place? See it? Oh, that causes pain. Uh -huh. Right? Now, what also causes when you slip the spine a little bit like that, you, you see this little blue thing here? Ooh. There's a little bit of inflammation that comes out. And literally, you'll begin to get inflammation from the disc. As it bulges out, it puts pressure on this structure, the nerve. This is a herniated disc. But even if it's not bad, this regular disc can just impinge on the nerve. The nerve can be swollen. Many things can cause this. And if you do it too much, of course, you'll pop this. And that spews chemicals all over the nerves, and that causes lots of discomfort. It takes a while to get better. Mm. So prevention is the key to avoiding pain. Strengthening the core muscles uh -huh. so you don't have the spine taking all the force when you move in the wrong direction. So 